What's going on everybody? It's another beautiful morning on the Curtis Goes West tour. Day five, we're all packed up here at Big Pines Campground. We did two nights and now we gotta move on. Uh, we gotta get closer to Sturgis. Uh, I know the rally's over, but there's still gotta be some stuff going on, stuff to see, stuff to do. But first, we gotta grab something to eat. And as you know from day four, we missed the Iron Mountain Road. I, I hit a little bit of it, not the good stuff. And anyway, if you come from the south, you can see Mount Rushmore on the ride. So we're definitely going to do that. We might hit Spearfish Canyon ride today. You know, who knows? Uh, we got a little part to pick up in Sturgis that we ordered back in Nebraska or Iowa now. But uh, yeah, plenty to do today. Hoping to get stuff a little bit more charged up. Kind of running low on juice here. Be all right, though. I'll keep you guys, uh, I'll keep the GoPro batteries charged up, number one. So... All right, day five, let's get it. Just had a bite to eat at the Feel Good Cafe here in Custer, South Dakota, and it was really good. Uh, the ingredients were really fresh. Coffee was good. Worked on a day, day four video. Got a lot of work done on that, that was solid. It's 1.45 right now, and I'm still in Custer. I just got done with the day four video. It took a lot longer than I expected, but day four was such a good day, such a killer day. I had to do it justice in the video for you guys. Um, it's a great video, if you haven't seen it, just go back right now, watch it, and uh, you're not gonna be upset you did. Um, we're gonna go hit the Iron Mountain Road for real this time, not like what we did yesterday. Have some fun, check that out, and figure out where we're sleeping. All right. overlook over there a bunch of trees in the way but I just did a little bit of hiking and look at this view Mount Rushmore in a distance just amazing not far from where I hiked to that overlook I'm checking out this dedication to Peter Norbeck he's the founder of Custer State Park and this is right in the middle of a switchback there's a bike going by now Mount Rushmore in the distance, we're at the top of Iron Mountain. We made it to Sturgis. And now the other people that made it, well, they already left. So we got a, this whole campground pretty much to ourselves. I had a feeling this might happen, but the timing just didn't work out. I had to get stuff squared away at home and I didn't want to rush my trip. I had stuff planned like in Nebraska, Iowa, all that. I'm not gonna, I didn't wanna rush my trip just to make the last two days of the rally. You know, next year we'll come out, we'll stay for a week or something, we'll do it right. But now we'll just enjoy Sturgis with no people. So that's an added plus too. So we got the time, nobody's around. I'm gonna show you what gear I'm using and how I set up camp. By now the bike's looking pretty filthy, about 1300 miles. I've been rained on, off and on. And taking a look at these bags, we got clean clothes in a rickrack bag, dirty clothes in the tent in this small bag, and the rest of the camping gear in this big bag here. This tent I bought off of Amazon. Now it's supposed to cost like 55 bucks. I got a deal on it for 30. For 30 bucks, I like the tent. Ideally, I would have got one just a little bit bigger, 
but it packs small and that's a major key for me. First thing we need to set up is the cot. That's this right here. I bought it off of Amazon for just under 70 bucks. It's a backpacking cot. Got your main fabric. Your legs. And there's two main poles. I try to crawl around the tent as little as possible. I found you could set this up outside about 90% of the way done. Finish it up in there. Helps me out. Now, just put your leg face together. Then you do all of them but the front one. Put it in a tent, finish it up there. With the couch set up, next thing we need to do is get the air mattress. I got the air mattress right here. It's made by Clement. It's the Clement Loft Sleeping Pad XL. I paid $150 with a military discount, and it cost you about $210. The air mattress would be nothing without an air pump. Bought this bad boy from Amazon for around about 40 bucks. Uh, it's compact, charges up with a USB, and it hasn't died yet, so that's a solid tool. With the air mattress blown up, next thing we got is a sleeping bag. I've had this sleeping bag for years now. Don't know where I got it, don't know how much I paid. It is a Marmot, it's a backpacking sleeping bag. Uh, did me pretty good last night in about 45 degree weather. It's not bad when it's hot either. Pretty good unit. Now we make our pillow. That's right, make our pillow. What I have here is three sweatshirts. I only have three sweatshirts with me. One. This one's already rolled up and this is a zip up in the back and I have a pillowcase right there. I learned this trick from the legend Scooter Tramp Scotty. Scooter Tramp Scotty has been living off his motorcycle for the last 25 or so years. He said this in one of his videos. Um, it's a great tool, it's been working out great so far. Uh, if you're interested in Scooter Tramp Scotty, he's got his own YouTube channel, pretty interesting guy. So with all of our pieces laid out, this is how I've been doing it. I've got one folded up there and I will just kind of pack it in somewhat of a pillow shape, just like that. Put it in the zip up and zip it up. Fold it, fold it nice. Then just take your pillowcase And slide it over all right that's our pillow now the camp is set up you might just want to chill hang out and you know where do you sit what, do you, what what's your options well obviously you can sit on a bike been doing that all day you can lay in bed we'll be doing that all night or you can sit on a park bench nah i got my own chair this is my chair it's a backpacking chair made by cascade mountain tech all together, I got 75 bucks in it. The chair's got really three main parts. You got the structure, the cover, and you got a pad. Structure pretty much puts itself together. Put the feet on the ground. Grab the cover. Slide it on over. Top side first. 
Get the bottom. You just hold it up if you want it to. It's easier. Grab the pad. Stake it on. Relax. Now you know the deal. Camp set up. Just got to do a little bit of tidying up. We're here at Sturgis. No, there's not a rally going on. No, I don't care. We're going to go into town, see what's going on, get something to eat, come back to the campground and relax. What's going on everybody? Wrapping up day five here at the campsite, hanging out, and uh, I thought I'd give you a little recap of the day. You know, I knew from ahead of time that we were gonna pack up and leave Big Pines, Custer. You know, we stayed there two days. We saw just about everything there is to see out there that I wanted to see. And it was time to time to keep going down the road so we had to find a new place to stay we had to finish the video you know kind of running low on juice here and there so we found some good breakfast and you know did some charging there worked on the video that place closed down we left there went into town just got an appetizer at the local Mexican place uh, did some more charging did some more working on the video video took a while uh, it took little bit longer than I really wanted it to but not on a super big time crunch so that was fine yesterday was just it was an incredible day and I just had to do it justice in the video I had to get you know I love doing the videos um, just keep my friends and family informed you know it's something I want to look back on someday as well and uh, anyway knocked the ready video out so it was time to do some riding I, I was pumped you know so hit the Iron Mountain Road finally you know I was I was kind of excited when I found out that I missed it because it was kind of a letdown yesterday what I thought was Iron Mountain Road so you know old-timer in the middle of the street talking to me told me to hit it from the south side you get some great views of Mount Rushmore and had we seen it yesterday coming from the north, we, we had never seen those views. So, you know, that's a blessing in disguise. And we hit it today. Great ride. Great ride. Incredible. Beautiful views. I mean, South Dakota. Just, what more you got to say? But seeing Mount Rushmore through the tunnels, there's these, you know, so many switchbacks, bridges. You've seen it. You know, you've seen it by now. But... That was a good ride. So anyway, hit the Iron Mountain Road, bound for Sturgis, you know. Rally's over, I'm coming anyway. Uh, I, I booked this campsite, kinda on a whim. Figured, you know, a little bit outside of Sturgis, that'd be fine. Figured there'd be a little bit going on. There's nothing going on. Not a whole lot. But, uh, but we're here anyway. That's totally fine. You know, next year, we'll come out, we'll stay for a week or, you know, however long and and we'll do the rally thing. You know, right now we're just doing the Curtis thing. And, and I like that, you know? So, check downtown out a little bit. It's pretty dead too, but you know, we'll take advantage of the time. We'll see the museum, you know? Next time I come here, it's gonna be like, I don't know, a, a million people or something crazy. So I'm not gonna do, be able to do the same things I can do when there's pretty much nobody here. So we'll do that. We'll hang around Sturgis just a little bit. There's a museum uh, in town. I think I'm gonna hit that. I'm sure that'd be good. And then uh, I think we'll just keep headed west from there. Uh, Deadwood. Deadwood's a killer town. Gonna check that out for sure. Spearfish Canyon ride. Absolutely. You will see that. And uh, from there, Devil's Tower, Yellowstone. Uh, we got Beartooth Pass somewhere in the mix. You know, that's kind of the plan. I, I got a plan, but I don't have everything figured out. And, and I like that. And you gotta do that because 
you make these plans and then you know maybe I want to stay somewhere for longer or maybe I don't want to stay somewhere for a long time or you know I just you gotta be spontaneous place is gonna have openings we can camp we can stay in a hotel I'd rather not but there's so many things I could do I'm, I'm not gonna make a plan that far ahead of time at least but anyway we're gonna hit Glacier absolutely that is that's up there that's that's pretty much the top right now in my mind Glacier National Park that's that's gonna be wild wildly good but we're gonna do that head on to Idaho northern Idaho down into Utah I got my buddy Patrick Hood down there he offered his place up for me to stay with him we're gonna do some camping at that point I'll have to service the bike but uh, I'm getting ahead of myself tomorrow uh, we're gonna be packing up this is gonna be a one and done campground we're moving on from here uh, do I know where I'm staying at tomorrow no I don't and I love it I love it we'll find a place make it work from there move on to day seven been a great ride so far really hope everyone's enjoying these videos I enjoy making them I really do thanks for all the support all my friends and family back home keep watching I'm gonna keep making these things keep having a good time I'm gonna keep enjoying this stuff it's just the beginning on to day six